Today I'm going to do a quick clip to have a little bit of fun with the Trek Monda test bike. I want to be clear, what I'm about to do isn't recommended by the company that makes this bike. When the 2021 Amonda was launched at the end of June this year, I asked a question over the video conference about tyre size. It was recommended that 26 is the ideal measurement, but not too much larger. Um, the new Amanda is uh, has clearance for up to 28 millimeter tires. Um, we always say that that's with an asterisk on it because the way that Trek talks about tire clearance is a way that is different than the way that some other brands talk about tire clearance. Um, we have uh, generally the way that we do tire clearance is that, um, and you can see that the opening here in the frame itself is relatively large is that with a 28 millimeter tire, we have four millimeters in clearance radially all, all the way around that tire, plus another two millimeters of tolerance in addition to that. So if you think of a 28 millimeter tire, nominally that means that you have about six millimeters of clearance all the way around that for both the frame and the fork. Uh, and that is how we determine the max tire size that we have. So that six millimeter of nominal clearance around our max tire size um, is, is how we come up with our tire size and that's where 28 comes from. But what I'm going to do today is pull off the 25mm uh, R4320s. I've got some 32mm Continental GP5000s in the cupboard. I've used them before on my bike. When you grab the bike and have a look, you think, yep, it should be able to accommodate 32mm tires, but you also realise that it could be a bit of a squeeze. So, just for the purpose of answering questions that people might have if you were to do what Trek recommends you don't do. I'm going to do it on video and then uh, just present you the images and you can make the decision if it's worthwhile endeavour or not. I'm only doing it because big bag tyres are the trend of 2020. Or is it 2019? Are we getting smaller again now? Aeolus RSL 37 with Bontrager R4 320 tyres. Has a uh, SRAM rotor and a centre lock system by Shimano, curiously, and that's as it is out of the box. Why am I doing this? Only because people are going to ask the question. Also, the bond trackers have got the white sidewall. It's worth referencing that just overnight, um, Continental announced that they've got some limited edition GP 5000s, just like these, only with a white sidewall. They're on their way to Australia now, and they should be here in about a month, according to the local distributor. Let's get some air on them and see if they fit in the bike. And so, they do fit. So there you have it. GP5000, 32mm on a Trek Imonda of 2021. It's bigger than recommended, but the point is you can do it. And there's gonna definitely be people out there who are gonna to want to do it. I'm only doing this because I know a lot of people like bigger bag tires. I'm completely comfortable with the Bontrager options that came with the Trek Imonda, but I'm gonna go for a ride because I do like the GP5000s. Up against the seat tube, I'm guessing that there's about seven to eight mil of clearance. So completely adequate, even by Trek standards. But it's down here where it gets a bit tighter. The quest is, so they say, to have at least four mil all around the tire. I'd say they've just done it. So although they're recommending not to do it, my quick appraisal after just doing a switch over is that you can. So you make the choice. Let me know if you do and let me know why you did it and uh, what you think of the result. Is it better or worse? 